Hello everyone, this is Ace Marif. Today, welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial. Today, we'll work with the food photography. So, at first, I opened up the Photoshop and I'll go to the file and press the open options. And I have food photography. Um, this photography taken by Ahad Jibon. I'll give his uh, link um, in my video description. So, uh, big thanks to him for uh, this photo. And I'm just open it up. Uh, this one is a foot of uh, Bangladesh uh, and uh, he just took this photo and I'll edit this one and I'll show you how to uh, control the colors how to control the background lights and how to make it more better and how to represent this to your audience or client so at first I'm copying this one by pressing ctrl J or you can use the drag it and drop in this new layer it will copy automatically and after that go to the filter and the camera filter okay uh, the camera filter is that filter you can get all the panels like uh, the HSL and uh, the basic panels uh, the curve tone and detail options HSL panel and the split toning all the things effects camera calibration presets all the things so uh, I'll use this one okay uh, I'll add some temperature a little bit plus 3 and I'll make it minus 3 okay the exposure I'll up a little bit and contrast up a little bit and the highlight I'll down okay don't down this one too much uh, I'll down like that but um, uh, I'll adjust the white balance with this okay the shadow I'll make it down and blacks I'll make it down I want to make the food prominent that's why I'm just doing this okay and the clarity 10 is good variance 5 and saturation minus 6 okay after that the curve tone the blue tone uh, just select here and just do like a little bit okay and then the green one so i'll make it down but i'll make it up here yeah that's good not too much um, a little bit and then the red red one i'll just a little bit down the middle one and rgb color uh, and rgb curves i'll make it like that yeah that's good and after that the sharpness amount of sharpening i'll make it 56 around and luminance of noise reducer 25 and the hsl the most important thing in this photo so here is the three colors actually in the yellow uh, and the orange and the background is black or green whatever you can uh, this one is not green i just given the uh, green tone that's why it uh, seems like uh, green and luminance of red yeah i'll increase and the saturation i should increase this one okay the orange the most common color is here the, um, the major color is orange i'll add some saturation and luminance also yeah and yellow i'll make it down the yellow color and here is no green color yeah that's good and the hue uh, i'll work with the don't make this one a red color so i'll make plus one that's good and the red okay the prominent and major color is orange here so that's good and the split toning if you make the split toning like that okay you can make your photo like this yeah and the hue i'll make the hue like uh, warm tone and uh, actually it should be like that yeah and then the camera calibration uh, primary blue color I'll make this one like minus 3 the saturation plus 8 the primary green color uh, I'll make it minus 8 and the saturation plus 4 the primary red color I'll make 10 and the saturation 10 if I make it like that yeah uh, it could be minus 10 is good and saturation like that and then the vignette or the effects here is the vignetting options I'll add some vignette like that okay I'll save this one saving the settings for you and I'll give that download link in my video description 
the food to okay and I'm hitting ok button yeah it's loading let's see the before one and after one before one and after one yeah I'm zooming in the before one and after one all the things are prominent and all the things is good for you and uh, for the makeover things uh, I'll make um, uh, another things for here so I'm making copy by pressing ctrl J another copy of this I'm going to the filter and nick collection color effects pro and uh, for this effect it will get uh, the extra exposure and it could be a best thing ever it depends on your PC configuration if your PC conversion is high then it will take less time so here is the cross balance options sorry cross processing I'm using this one and here are lots of methods and you can use methods one of them and I could use this one okay that's good and but I should try another one the this one is good this one is good that's good but I'll use this one and hit the ok button yeah it's loading and giving you the output and for that it will just adjust with this so this is our output let's see the before one and the after one yeah that's it so thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i am asmr signing out before that don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notifications keep smiling and bye bye